Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kathy and today I just wanted to show you a quick video on how to organize some of your product. I'm going to be using the Close to My Heart organizational boxes that come in various sizes and also insert options that you have to choose from. So you can organize anything in these boxes from stamp sets to um, ink pads, your embellishments, ribbons, different um, kind of glitter glues that you have and that sort of thing. So I'm just going to show you some of the options that you have and how I organize my boxes. So if you're interested in seeing that, just keep watching. Okay, so here you guys, here they are the different options for our organizational cases that we carry. So I'm just going to start off with this one. This is, um, it was one of our original um, boxes. So basically it's mostly used to hold um, our stamp sets and you can get 15 stamp sets in here but you can actually sneak in a couple extra because you can fit a couple more in and the other thing I've heard people use this box for which is really handy is their Copic markers um, they actually stand up quite nicely in here and clear it and then um, yeah you can store all your Copic markers in there too as an idea so that is the first one. So the second one I wanted to show you, this is called our small um, organizer and you have a couple of options for this one. Um, the way this works is it actually comes with an insert, like there's a foam insert here and then you can buy the craft boxes separately so they just fit in there nicely and you can put all your smaller embellishments in there like you know buttons and I've got pins and kind of, um, you know, blingy items in there, like little pins and stuff. So there's that one. And then I also have a separate, uh, another one of these. I'll just show you. So I also wanted to show you another organizer. Now this one I decided not to put the inserts in it. So I just wanted to give you this as an option. So what I did is I still purchased the craft boxes and I put them all in there just by themselves but then I also stacked in my pigment aches around the outside. Now we do have a foam insert for this um, box that you can get that actually will store all of your pigment inks. And then we have another foam insert that you can actually put on the top and it's for your sponge dauber, so you could have coordinating sponge daubers to all of the different ink pads that you have and they all kind of fit in one box which is kind of cool. So that is another small organizer and they have grooves on the top so that when you put them, stack them on top of each other, they're, they kind of groove into each other. So this is the medium. This one's a bit messy but I'm just keeping it real. This is kind of what mine looks like. So um, what I have here is I have some of our little um, glitter, um, glitzy glue things and then I've got all my embellishments from like washi tape to brads and then back here I've got various um, kind of flowers and packages like all my little pearls and my sparkles so I just keep them in these have different compartments there's like eight different compartments um, and these ones will actually move, they kind of move out so that you can make it bigger if you wanted to. You have the option to kind of customize these bo the medium box to um, what kind of things that you want to store in it. So that is the medium organizer. And then on to the large organizer. This one was meant to mostly hold our stamp sets and you get like way more stamp sets in it than the original organizer that I showed you. But um, you can use this for all kinds of things. You could put anything in here that you want that's tall. And then we also sell these dividers if you want to divide them and label kind of what's in here. So, um, but you could put your ink pads stacked, stacked up in here. You could put all kinds of things um, that are taller and they'll fit in there as well. So those are the different options for our organizational boxes that we carry with Close to My Heart. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy crafting.